fitting way to end round one of the Brisbane Women's Premier League as it is of course the start of International Women's Week and we are here for International Women's Day as it is Ipswich City coming up against their Gold Coast opponents in Rabina City here from Sutton Park for this Sunday afternoon fixture. These two sides met in round 13 with Ipswich coming away. 7-3 victors thanks to a bagful from Shani Wilton. And the ball played through. It is right on cue. Shani Wilton early chance here for Ipswich. Hits it low and hard and 1-0 to Ipswich City thanks to that player in Shani Wilton. Loves playing against Rabina. Wasn't going to miss from there. Chance here again for Ipswich. They're on the move. Could be a chance for a second. Huge chance. There's the save coming in eventually from Biglands. Getting down well. Now Rabina looking to fight back. It falls to Glue who tries the shot almost going through Gordon in the end nearly catching her unaware but she was able to get back chance here ball threaded through is this the second for Ipswich puts it wide can you believe it it was Emma Barnes corner now for Ipswich ball bouncing back there's the shot coming in from long range it's a cracker from Chloe Torrey. How about that? Edge of the area. Picked it up and that might find its way into the goals of the week. Cracking goal. Ball just pinballing around. It falls to Rabina. Ball coming back across. Could be a chance off her line. Ever so smartly was Gordon to deny that chance. Here's Wilton. This ball across. Falls fortunately. Could be another chance for City. It is. It's three. This time getting on the score sheet is Sophie Weatherby. We've seen some cracking goals today and that is up there as well. Left foot going over Biglands. Rabina striding forward. Nice challenge coming in there. Well, a referee spotted the free kick. Going Rabina's way. In it goes. Could be a chance. Did that cross the line? It looks like it has in the end. So Rabina pinch one back. You just never know. From the set piece, it is Taya Stella. As Gordon slightly misjudging the flight on that ball. Rabina striding forward, although they've turned it over here. Cheaply, what can Ipswich do from this? The shot coming in, safe first time. Could be a chance still. Just got to bury it away. And it's Norla Giojigan makes it 4-1. And surely they're home and hose now. Nice save first time from Biglands, but couldn't keep out the rebound. These two sides just love playing high scoring affairs, as we saw last season. Now it's Rabina on the ball, the shot coming in, is that another one? It is! 4-2! Hold on to your hats. This game's not done yet because Ty Stella has got a second. And a second with that left boot of hers. Spilt by Gordon. Now it's City pressing. Rabina could get another one. It could make things very interesting. Solid challenge coming in there. Free kick for rip switch. Into the box it goes. There's a shot coming in, and that one's in the back of the net. 5-2. Looks like it's a second for Sophie Weatherby, this time on her right foot. Plenty of goals to end round one here in the 
Brisbane Women's Premier League. Zipswich striding forward again here. The shot coming in from long range. It's a great save from Biglands this time to deny Morton. Now Rabina. All cut across. Could be a huge chance somehow. White unable to score as she did so last season when these two sides met. And the referee blows the whistle to signal the end of this fixture. It is a high scoring affair once again. And eventually it's the Ipswich City Bulls coming out 5-2 winners in a highly entertaining Sunday afternoon fixture on International Women's Day.